Uh, so that was me. I was here. I was young. I was happy. So I looked at the map and Sydney, Australia was as far as humanly possible, it seems. But I got to work on these really cool systems that I never had an opportunity to do here. And was trying to finish my thesis. And I lived in London for a while, lived in Paris for a while. I finished my PhD finally. I moved to Sweden and like the IKEA manual that you receive, very difficult to interpret. <laughs> I really struggled in Sweden. Sweden was tough. When I was back in Sydney, I came back for the from the, one of Australia's largest housing crisis. So under my desk for three months, I took a job in Ann Arbor, which was pretty hard as well. And all of that, all of that experience, it ends up with one, two, three lines. In some ways, maybe that's grim, but in other ways, it suggests that you can have a lot of sets of experiences and move on to do new things without it being, uh, every single thing being critically important if it doesn't go great, 